The historic Dixon Theater in Dixon, Illinois is more than 100 years old and a nonprofit theater group is breathing new life into the space. And there's also a new artistic producer at the helm. That's Darren Mangler and he joins us now here on Quad Cities Live. Darren, thanks so much for joining us today. Thanks for having me. I love coming here. Yes, we appreciate it as always. So uh, back in 2019, the group, it's a, a historic Dixon Theater group. It's a nonprofit, took over the helms of the Dixon Theater. So uh, talk about how that's been. It's a... Uh um, I just came on a, a couple months ago, yeah. but from the stories I've heard, um, that space sat dormant for about a decade until this group came in, yeah. saw that it was sitting there, knew that its history uh, should be shared and should be uh, cherished. It's now a historic site. Yeah. And now they uh, started bringing in shows, movies, brought me in. They have an incredible staff, very supportive, loving board, you know, yeah. who is, uh, participates. So now they're re getting ready to bring the Dixon Theater up to where its yeah. standards were late 80s and uh, early 2000s. Certainly breathing new life into the theater as well. So kind of describe the theater for our viewers who haven't been there. I, I didn't know what I was looking at when I first walked yeah, in. Yeah. I told them, I'm like, I don't think you understand what you have here. <laughs> I'd been working in New York, and okay. when I came to see the show, it's a Broadway theater. Yeah. It, there's a balcony, there's box seats, uh, beautiful fire curtain, fly system, state-of-the-art sound system. We're going to have a 1,000 seats uh, starting next year. Oh, wow. It is a beautiful gorgeous theater. marble uh, floors and old-school painting and um, fixtures on the walls. It's a gorgeous theater. I love it. Yeah, we're looking at some of the pictures there, and uh, yeah, it looks like a, a great space. And like you said, it's a historic site, so mm -hmm. I mean, uh, those are always neat to take in the history there in Dixon, Illinois. So, you know, you mentioned that you're bringing a, a lot of different acts and performances to the theater, and one of those is welcoming Yakov Smirnov coming up this Friday. So talk a little bit more about him and how you kind of snagged him to come to Dixon. Uh, actually, he was hired before I came in okay. a couple years ago, okay. um, and then we went into construction. Now we're bringing him back. Okay. Um, so lucky to have him. When I was yeah. a kid, I would take those tape recorders, you had to push uh, play and record yeah. at the same time, and I'd hold it up to HBO during those young comedian specials. <laughs> and he was one of those uh, big time comedians. And now he has his own theater in Branson. He's an oh, icon wow. of comedy. And um, as I had done comedy as well, I cannot wait to meet him. Yeah. We are so lucky that we got him out of Branson to come to Dixon. Now, yeah. we're only an hour and 10 minutes away from the Quad Cities. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So hopefully people can make the drive up, have a nice dinner at one of our restaurants, see an icon and not have to drive to Branson. Yeah, I mean, just hop on 88. <laughs> it's, a, it's a really short drive. It's a really short yeah. drive. And we have great hotels and, uh, you know, uh, Ronald Reagan's boyhood oh, absolutely. home is there. Yep. So yep. you can make a weekend of it. Yeah, make a weekend of it for sure. Absolutely. And as you mentioned he's a legend in comedy so we have uh, a little bit of a Yakov Smirnoff clip so let's take a listen. I said Mr. President you know when the Americans landed on the moon that was a big slap in the face to the Soviet government so Brezhnev called all the cosmonauts into his office and said Americans landed on the moon we have to land on the sun. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Interesting sense of humor there. So, yeah, uh, happily ever laughter. Looking forward to that coming up here Me this too. Friday. All right, so, you know, we've got the comedy shows, and you also show movies as well. So you have some upcoming uh, movies that you're going to be showing up, right? Yes. Uh, it was an old movie house as well before um, we started to update it to do our own shows, like children's shows, comedians. Uh, we have touring Broadway shows come in and also concerts. But our movie section, we're, we're showing classics. Yeah. While also having cocktails to go along with I it. I mean, yeah. Well, what's better, right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Cheers to so that. We have Star Wars coming up on May 4th. Oh. You know, May, May the, the 4th. 4th. Yeah, May the 4th be with so you. So we're okay. hoping to sell that out. But we have a lot of movies that are family friendly. Yeah, and we have some of those on your screen. Uh, Cars is coming up on April 6th at 3 o'clock. Talladega Nights, The mm -hmm. Ballad of Ricky Bobby, that's coming up on April 6th. Casablanca there on April 12th. And then... Let's talk about stories from the set of The Longest Yard. If this guy looks familiar to you, <laughs> it's because he was in the movie with Adam Sandler back in, uh, what year was it, 20, 2005, something like that? Anyway. We're still playing football, yeah. You're still playing football. Mm -hmm. So talk about that experience. I mean, you probably have stories upon stories, so I won't let you give the whole thing away. Right. Have people come on April 13th there, but talk about your experience doing that. You know, it was fantastic. It was six months. We shot in Santa Fe, New Mexico, yeah. which is at a higher elevation than Denver. So we were all out of breath the entire <laughs> oh, time. I bet. And I was an actor who happened to play football, where all yeah. the other guys were football players, professionals that wanted to act. Yeah. So when we're shooting all those scenes, everything had to look real. So anytime you see action in the longest yard, that was for real. We were yeah. kicking the 
out of each other. And that was a smaller guy, so yeah. I was just getting thrown everywhere. But Adam Sandler's a great guy. I would work with him in a second. Chris Rock was awesome. Yeah. Stone Cold Steve Austin was hilarious. The wrestlers were all causing havoc. It's great. Oh, you've sold this, so we got to learn much more <laughs> about this. Well, if you want to learn more about the historic or the Dixon Historic Theater or to purchase any of the tickets of the events we talked about, you can visit DixonTheater.com. Darren, this was so much fun. Thanks for uh, coming on the show. Thanks today. for having me. And uh, Quad Cities, come out and see us. Yeah, Please. again, hop on 88. It's an hour, hour and 10 minutes. You won't believe the theater. It's no, awesome. Not bad at all. All right, well, <laughs> thanks again, Darren. Thank you for watching Quad Cities Live. Your local news at 4 is coming up next. Have a great day.